So here we have the Toyota Yaris Hybrid Automatic on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we've got the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the left-hand side, we have the dials that will show whether the motors are charging, uh, whether we are driving in eco mode, or whether we're using the power band for the car. You can also see it says ready, that means the engine is running, and EV means we're currently in the car's electric mode. In the center, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 17,873. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's being displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of trip computer uh, and car information. Back and out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls, and on the right-hand side, we have the buttons I was using a moment ago, beneath which we have cruise control uh, on that stalk just there. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. This is where you can access your uh, music options, amongst other things. So you'll see we have AM, FM, and DAB radio. We have Bluetooth audio as well, so you can stream your music wirelessly. And we have iPod and USB input there too. We've also got a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you're seeing uh, being shown on the screen there. And to pair your phone, you just hit this button here and then follow the instructions on the screen. We're not going to pair a phone for now, of course. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger driver temperature you fan speed up and down from here you can determine where you'd like the air to be redirected once it enters the vehicle when you're happy with those settings this button turns the air conditioning in this case off or back on again or you can hit auto and the car will now take control of the temperature or sorry the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain those temperatures and you can hear it doing that now to override it readjust the fans Put it back on whatever setting you want it on here again under that we have a 12 volt charging socket usb and auxiliary inputs underneath that cap and we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and lastly these buttons just here this one turns off traction control this puts the car in eco mode and this one will force the car into its electric mode if there's enough charge available all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.